hold on Ranjit Vankatesh. One fine morning, a teenage girl takes the bus to school. There is hope in her mind, there's music in her stride, and there is happiness in her heart. A young man boards the bus, calls out to her, pulls out a gun, and shoots her. Bang! 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 One of the bullets hits her head and exits through her shoulder, shattering the hope, stopping the music, and halting the happiness. Madam Contest Chair, ladies and gentlemen, this teenage girl was Malala. Malala had dared to raise her voice for the education of girls in a traditional society in Pakistan. A society which believed that women were made to bear children, to cook in the kitchen, to worship God, and nothing more. What would you do if you were shot at? Would you crumble? and let go of a belief that is dear to your heart? Or would you enlist help to shoot down your enemy? This teenage girl says, I am Malala, and I am not afraid to hold on to my belief. With all the 15 years of mature wisdom, she says, I do not want revenge of the man who tried to shoot me. I just want education for his daughter and all the children in our society. One fine morning in the year 2002, a young man walks to work. This hope in his mind there's music in his stride, and there is happiness in his heart. While at work, a woman walks into the room, calls out to him, and says, You are fired. But those words hit his head and go all the way down to his heart, shattering the hope, stopping the music and halting the happiness. This young man was me. I had had the naive courage to leave my native India and come to Germany for a new job. Here I was, fired. If you were fired, would you want to go and get a new job, or would you go back home? With all the 22 years of immature wisdom, I decided to find another job in the tough terrain of continental Europe. The first month passed, my confidence was fading. The second month passed, my strength was waning. The third month passed, my belief that I could succeed in Europe was starting to disappear. And then I did what real men do when they are in trouble. I called my dad. My dad listened to me, and then he said, Son, hold on to your belief. Come back when you're winning. 
When in life I doubt my beliefs, I remind myself of these two words, hold on. It did help me to stay on with the job search, and I did find another job. Malala now goes to school in Birmingham, and she dreams of becoming the Prime Minister of Pakistan and bringing education to all the children in her country. I have since climbed many a job ladder, and I dream of starting my own company with branches in India and here in Germany. What about the future? I live here happily in Munich with my wife and my little daughter, my two-year-old daughter. Now, she holds on to my little finger when we go for a walk. She holds on to every word when I read a book to her. Now, she calls me even when she's not in trouble. But she holds on to every solution I give her. She will one day grow up to be one of you. You have faced the trials and tribulations that life has thrown at you. Your past troubles were overcome by holding on to your beliefs. Your present achievements are a result of passionately holding on to your beliefs. And for the future, I want to give my daughter and you the inspirational words of Rudyard Kipling. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after it's gone, and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will that says to them, hold on. Madam Condescere.